another quick tip so I wanted to do this one because so many people ask me all the time is there a faster way to apply global edits inside of Lightroom and of course there are many ways to do it but more importantly can I apply some default edits upon import or using tethering so I don't have to remember to do them later and that's what this tip is all about so I've got an image here from my team's group shoot earlier today uh, with yours truly over here on the right and there's one thing I absolutely love doing to all of my photos. So this is kind of one of those global things. I do it 99.9% .9 of the time, and I want it to just happen without me having to remember to do it every single time. And that is apply a profile lens correction. So lens correction tab, uh, apply profile corrections. Now, how do you know that your image may need a lens correction? Well, if you glance at the image, you probably won't notice that it's distorted or that there are any issues, but there are a couple of issues in this particular image. Number one, just look at the wall along the bottom. You can kind of see where it's kind of curved. It looks like it's not perfectly straight where it should be. And then if you look in the corners of this image, you can see some vignetting going on, some dark spots in the corners. And that's all because of lens distortion. So if I just simply click the checkbox, it will do something. It will look at the image. It will identify in the EXIF data what camera and lens was used to shoot this. And if it's got a profile to correct for it, it will just do it like so. So it straightened out the image along the bottom, got rid of the dark corners for the vignetting. And it, that's just something I would just want done. I don't ever want to have to think about it. Just do it. So before and after, and you can look at the bottom of the wall and you can see where it straightens it out. So that's one of those things. I just wanted to do it. Now I've also done some things in the basic panel and this, I, this is something I would consider portrait photography. So I, I want to just build a thing that automatically applies a few things that I always do to portraits. So let's go ahead and do that. Now enable profile correction, that's already done. I've already gone in the basic panel and I've chosen the, the Adobe Portraits uh, profile that's built into Lightroom. I've also applied um, some sharpening, sharpened faces, which is uh, one of the older presets, but you can use any one of the sharpens you want. And I just kind of want those three things to happen every time I shoot a portrait. So to do that, you make a new preset. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create Preset. And... Uh, normally, I would say check none. I'm going to start off with nothing. Then I'm going to go ahead and name this preset. Um, I'm going to call this um, uh, import for portraits or import settings. Let's, let's call it that. Settings for portraits. Now, I can stick it in there with the rest of all my you know uh, regular presets, but I'm just going to make a new group. I'm just going to call this group import. That way I know every preset in that group deals with importing. Because maybe I'll do one for landscapes. Maybe I'll do one for product photography. Whatever it is. All right, so now that I've got this set, what do I want to happen? Well, I already said that I, I gave it the, um, the portrait profile. So I want it to use the profiles. I also want it to apply lens correction. Give me all the lens correction things that I've checked off. And last but not least, give me the sharpening that I've done. So give me those three things every single time I import portraits. Now, I'll go ahead and click the preset, and then you might be asking, well, how does it know when you shot a portrait versus when you shot a landscape or a travel image or something that's not a portrait? Or how do you do this when you're tethering? Well, let's talk about import first. If you go to your file menu and you choose import or you click the import button on the... Uh, in the library module, it'll bring up this dialog box. And what you can do then is you can say, hey, upon import, apply during import, my new preset for portraits. So when I know I'm about to import a, a portrait shoot, that's where I choose it. So now I can just go grab the images, put the memory card in, whatever, import, and all of those images that I import, whether it's 500, 5,000, or five, it will apply the same preset to all of those images. I won't have to ever think about it again. All right, so that's how you would do it upon, um, upon importing new images. If you're shooting tethered, when you uh, connect your camera, which I don't have mine connected right now, it will bring up the little, you know, the status bar for your camera. On the right-hand side of that status bar, you will also be able to choose a develop preset. 
that will apply for every image you shoot tethered. So you can have, again, a uh, tethering situation for a studio for portraits, one for weddings, one for whatever it is you're importing images from where you kind of want to set the same things to apply to every single image without having to remember to do it. The only thing you have to do is remember to choose it upon import. So that's another quick tip for how to apply the same edits to all the images that you're about to shoot before you bring them in or before you shoot them. With that said, cheers everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye everybody.